Hey, what's going on guys? It's Slider and we are back on Sky Factory 2.0. As you can see, I have relocated my Batania stuff. I lost a spreader. I don't know what happened to it. I lost a spreader somewhere. But uh, we are over in what is going to be our Batania area. I don't think I'm going to need this much area, but this is going to be our Batania area. And if you see all these little flowers out here, they're called glimmering flowers, glimmering black flowers to be specific because I thought it'd be cool to have a glowing black flower. You know, you could have done any color you want, but I went with black because, well, why not? Uh, it's not something you would normally think of as a glowing flower, so. But eventually I want to get rid of all these torches and stuff like that, at least in the Batania area. I want Batania to be all Batania. I want it to be all earth, you know, related, floral related stuff or whatever. And uh, so today, there's a couple things I want to get done. There's a couple flowers, actually, I want to get done. And uh, it's going to really help get things going. I did happen to get a couple more overgrowth seeds in um, a loot bag. And so I'll have some mana protection. I can make some mana protection flowers, but I, I don't know if we'll do that today. But I want to make this guy right here. It's an exo flame. So the reason is we've got our living wood, and then I want to make some living stone. But the problem is I've got tons of cobble and no regular stone. And this flower right here, this exoflame, allows me to run a furnace, which I think I have on. It allows me to run a furnace without needing um, any type of like heating source, like coal or whatever. It just uses mana, right? That's freaking pretty sweet. Uh, but I'm going to need a spreader to send to the flower, I believe. I, I believe that's how it's going to have to go. So basically what I'm going to need is I'm going to need some gray, some light gray, gray, red, and red. But i got to make these two guys. A rune of fire and a rune of summer. Now the rune of fire, like that, there we go, is pretty easy to make. It's nether wart, <clears throat> gunpowder, nether brick, mana steel, and mana powder, which I can make really easily and I get two for that. Um, back. But this uh, Rune of Summer is a little bit more. I need Sand, Slam Ball, Melon, and this Rune of Earth. So we're going to go uh, go down to our storage facility and get all the materials that we need. Um, eventually, I do plan on moving all these flowers over in that area. Just so got some <laughs> living stone and some of these flowers. Sorry about the dog. Uh, move all this over there. I do have some living stone and some living wood already, but I want to get more, obviously. So... I've got the flower petals, that's not a concern. What I need is all the other ingredients. So, the first one, I'm gonna need one iron ingot, uh, any kind of thing to turn into mana power, and a nether brick. Um, do I have any nether rack? I do have one piece of nether rack, so we can make that guy up real quick. Oh, and I'm gonna need another wart. I know that was on the list. Oh, I got more stone, cool. Um, what else did we need? Uh, gunpowder. Gunpowder. Who got plenty of that. All right, cool. And what else? Um, I think that can be done with just like redstone. I think that's how that one works. I got tons of redstone now. Um, when we did the last episode or whatever, yeah, you saw what we had going on. It's just, whew, look at that. I got two more stacks of redstone. Two and a half stacks of redstone. That's... Oh, this whole system it's just working beautifully I really wish I had that Dragonic chest but whatever we're, we're working with what we got um, okay so I've got my nether brick now there we go and what was the other thing uh, oh iron ingot okay iron ingots got one of you okay so that is gonna give me my rune of fire we're gonna be good there then I need my rune of summer which is gonna be two more runes I can get two sand, a slime ball, and melon. I haven't made any melon yet. Um, but I have melon seeds. So we can go plant some real quick and bone meal the heck out of those. So we'll grab some bone meal. Oh, well, I guess I'll grab a bone. Well, I'll grab two just in case. Make sure I got enough bone meal to get that thing going. Uh, I guess that's all I had to do. <laughs> I kind of forget how the crafting table works. All right, so that will give me my melon. Um, do I have any sand at the moment? I don't. Do I have any gravel? I don't. Um, let me just grab some gravel. Let me turn that off so I can grab this side. There we go. There's, hey. There's one. 
there's two. There we go. Now all I gotta do is grab my hammer to get the sand. And we're good to go. Put you down like that. Hammer. Got my sand. We're good to go there. Okay, cool. So I got my two pieces of sand. Like so. Oh, there's my overgrowth seeds that I was talking about. Uh, I didn't even realize they were in my inventory already. Um, I need a slam ball. I don't know if this one will work. Let me... There's a way to get slime balls. And I think it's with Batania. Um, cactus. I don't have cactus yet. How can I get cactus? With a slime ball. Of course. Um, there's no other way. I wonder if these blue slimes work the same. I, I don't know. Well, I mean, I could try it out. Tinkers, what are you good for? No, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it and try it out, because um, I'm not exactly sure if it has to be the green one. But anyways, I need this rune of earth, which is stone, coal, another iron, another powder, and a mushroom. So stone, I know I have one. Uh, coal. Need a block of that. What was the other three? Uh, iron, a powder, and a mushroom. I know I've got mushrooms. I've got 13 of them. And I'm going to need another redstone. And I'm going to need iron. An iron ingot. There we go. So we've got that, and what else did we need? Going back, um, that was the rune of earth? Yeah, that was the rune of earth, so I need the rune of air. That's gonna be a feather, a string, iron, iron, and a piece of carpet, interesting. So I think, I, yeah, I have feathers. There's a feather, I need a string. I hate that my T doesn't work on this freaking game for some weird reason. It's a really weird glitch. Um, iron. And another redstone is what I'm going to need. Oops. And there we go. That was all of that, right? Iron, the redstone string, feather. Oh, carpet. Um, <laughs> I thought I had more than that. Okay, and a piece of carpet. That's an interesting recipe. Very interesting. Oh, you know what? I need to make a spreader. Do I have any feather? Oh, uh, let me see. Yes. I need to make another spreader. Can I do that? Do. Nope. All my living wood and all that stuff's upstairs. I'm gonna grab a crafting table though, because I'm gonna need one. That's gonna be a necessity. And I can grab some living wood upstairs as well as a pedal to make another spreader. So we should be good. Let's see, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a petal. I have the most of these, okay. So I should have everything, should, who knows. Oh, you know what, I need to get a hoe. I need to get, a, oh, you know what, I don't even need a hoe. I just need to do this. I'm gonna knock you out. Where did I put seeds, there's the seeds right there. I'm gonna knock you out and plant you, and I'm gonna bone meal you up. And you're going to give me a melon soon, right? You're going to give me a melon soon. And while you're growing, I don't know, can I create a melon or is it just, just a stem that you can bone meal? It's just a stem you can bone meal. Okay, not a problem. So I'm going to put a little crafting table right next to the apothecary because why not, right? And <clears throat> we'll do that. And we're going to make a spreader, like so. All right. And this spreader is going to share from this one over here. No, it's going to share from this one over here, like so. And let's link you up. Function, I want bind mode, like that. But I want you to share, yes. All right. Actually, you know what? I'm going to want you on the other side just because I'm gonna put the endo flame, like exo flame right there. 
So we'll put you right here. We'll see how that works. Uh, okay. So the first one up, Batanya, Lexicon Batanya. We are going to do... Here, we'll do the fire one first. Fire one. So that was another wart gunpowder. Another. Okay, we got out of that. I got to go over here and make up some of this. Uh... Yeah, that's what I want. There we go. And then I need my iron ingots. Like so. Did I cut the other one? Yeah, I got three. Okay, cool. And it was nether wart gunpowder. Oh, yeah, that's what I needed you to do. I need you. That was not the right wand. I need you to supply this one. Right? Oh, yeah, you're all sorts of full. Okay, cool. So, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. All these have like five things. So, um, I need ingot. I need this. I need the nether brick, nether wart, and gunpowder. Okay. And you go there. You, 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 and you. And it starts up. And then, oh, I need to go grab some of that living stone. While that's working. Like so. I'm going to grab the wood, too, while I'm at it. And I can just put it in these chests over here. That I have neatly set up like wood goes there and living stone goes there because I'm going to need one of those or I'm going to need a couple of those alright how are you doing um, this is a slow process this is a slow process but I believe I just throw this on when it's done I, I did this earlier when I did the, uh, the dirt uh, rod with the earth stuff so it should be good I got, yeah, I was like, I can't remember if I had the coal or not. Okay. So you should be done. Bingo, bingo. And then throw that on there. And give a little tappy tap with my wand. And there we go. We got the fire ones. All right, cool. We are on the right path. All right, let me grab my Lexica Batania here. This is kind of cluttering. Okay, so we got the fire. Now I need this one. So I need the melon still, but we can do these other ones. Rune of Earth. That is those, the mushroom, the coal, and the stone. Okay. So those, get these out of the way. Stone, that, mushroom. Um, oh, it is those two. Never mind. Get you out of the way. You, 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 and you. Right? Double check. Yeah, I always, always double check, right? You, 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 and you. All right, you're rocking on that one, and then I can get the other ones ready, which is the air. That's string and the carpet and the feather. Okay. Um, string, feather, carpet. And you're working. You're doing your thing. We'll have this endo flame going. So apparently, you don't. This flower doesn't just run, like run the furnace. It actually gives it a speed boost too, so things will actually smell quicker, which would be kind of cool. And uh, yeah, this potato sounds really cool. Like the fact that the only items that the game actually adds, like world generation wise or whatever, is just the flowers. Everything else is crafted from all vanilla stuff. So I think that's actually a pretty cool aspect of the game. It's very simplistic. Here's some flowers. Go do stuff with flowers. I think that's really really cool. Okay, you're done. Throw you on there. Give the wand a tappy tap. And now we got those. And now we can start the next one. Right click with an empty hand. No, I don't want to repeat the last recipe. But that's cool that you can do that. I think it does it with uh, the Petal Apothecary too. All right, so then you're rocking. I think mana's just fine over here. Yeah. And I think I could actually just put the mana tablet in there too. I believe that works. Not a hundred percent sure, but I believe that works, and uh, that'll power it with mana. But this works too. I mean, I've got the spreader right there, and we've got plenty of mana to share. So, oh, let me go check on the melon. Let's go hope a melon has grown. There's no melon yet. Come on, grow! Put a torch right here and here. I want you to have plenty of light. 
Okay. Plenty of light. We want a melon. Oh, and that slime ball. What was the slime ball needed for? I need to still test that one out. That was uh, with the sand, the slime ball, the melon. Yeah, that's all those two. Okay. Okay, you're done. Throw you up on there. Is that close enough? No. That was not close enough. There we go. And tappy tap. All right, now all I'm doing is waiting on the melon. How can I make this melon grow faster? Come on, melon, grow. Grow, melon, grow. Grow. Give me a melon. You guys are usually pretty quick. Like, I don't know, really quick. And uh, you're not being quick right now. That doesn't. That makes me unhappy. Now I don't know if the functional flora uh, disappear like the other flora do, like the the mana producing flora or whatever. So I don't want to waste one of my overgrowth seeds. But I know I'll have multiple of these so I can make another one if I need to. So I'm going to test it out without putting on overgrowth seed. But I'm going to sit there and pause right here until a melon grows and then we'll be right back. Well, that didn't take very long. It wasn't instantaneous. Like a lot of times I'm like, hey, let's pause and then it happens right away. But I got it pretty quickly. So we've got the melon. Now I'm just hoping the slime ball works. Because if not, I don't know how I'm going to get slime. Because I'm getting those weird ones in the deep dark. I'm not getting green slimes. I'm getting those blue slimes. I haven't seen a green slime. And I don't know. There's got to be a way. I've got to find a way to get slime. I can do with the seeds, but that's not what I want. <sighs> what is this? Raw jellyfish. It gives you slime. Uh, I don't have any magma cream. Ooh, I might have a magma cream, actually. I didn't think about that, but I might have a magma cream. Oh! Oh, I didn't even see that. A barrel recipe. Water in a barrel, add some milk. And I've got Bessie down there. Ha ha ha. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. That's funny. A water barrel and milk. <laughs> okay. If you say that's a recipe, I'm with you. Um, Alright, so let me get a barrel. Grab a couple buckets. One, two. And we'll put you down. Oh, wait, I need water. Um, I don't know if this is still considered an infinite spring with that uh, aqueous accumulator there. No, it's not an uh, infinite spring like that. Well, heck. Let me create an infinite spring real quick because I took mine down for this thing. And let me grab some cobble or something. Just do this. Put you right over here. And some torches because I don't want anything spawning down here. All right, and you go there. And you go there. And now I collect you and collect you. And I can go refill you. This is kind of... There we go. Now, let me get a bucket of water and a bucket of milk. Where, Bessie, where are you at? I saw you walking around here. There you are. Thank you for your milk, babe. Appreciate you. And we're going to go ahead and put our barrel... Water, milk. Oh, it's sliming up. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And is it going to give me a slime block or a slime blob? I don't know. But we've got everything now. So we're going to be able to make this endo flame, or exo flame, sorry, not endo flame, exo flame. And I can put the buckets back. I don't need the seeds. I don't need the dirt. I don't need you anymore. I don't need you. All right. Slime it up, 56%. It's a long process, but it's it's getting the job done. And we will, ooh, yeah, it's really looking slimy. Hey, get back here. I'm trying to get up there and see it. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's nice and green water right there. Awesome, we've got slime. We've got two slime balls. I only need one right now. 
and I might uh, take the other one. Well, yeah, we're going to actually probably do that in this episode. I've got like eight, uh, eight or ten minutes left. Um, whoa! Hey! I forgot that you guys do come across that bridge every now and then. So let's get everything we need to make this endo flame now. We need you, two pieces of sand, you, you, and melon. All right. You, 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 both of you, and you. All right. And this is making which one? I forget which one's this making. This is making uh, the rune of summer. Okay. And that takes me back. Oh, I didn't get the red, the gray, and the light gray. Let me go grab those while that's working. Two red, one gray, one light gray. We got this. We got this. Red, gray, red, light gray. And we should have our endo flame. Not done yet. All right. Petal Apothecary of Summer, Fire, Light Gray, Gray, Red, and Red. Cool. We are good. Once this guy finishes up. Oh, I need another piece of living stone. Thank you. It's a pretty advanced flower. For pretty beginner, I mean, I guess it's not really advanced flower, but uh, for the beginning, it's that's a lot of stuff just to get one flower. But it seems like it's a pretty useful flower, so that's a good thing, I guess. And uh, we'll see how efficient it really is. Okay, there we go. Throw you on there and get my wandy wand out. Why is it not working? Why is that not working? Did it just not? Do I need more than that? Do I need like a stack of these? What am I missing here? What am I missing? It went through the whole thing. What am I missing? The Rune of Summer. That, that. Runic Altar. Rune of Summer. That's everything. Two Sand. The Rune of Air. The Rune of Earth. Two Sand. The Rune of Air. The Rune of Earth. The, that, and that. What's going on? What am I missing here? Slime ball, melon, rune of earth, rune of air. Slime ball, melon, rune of earth, rune of air, two sand. What is going on here? Why isn't this working? Oh, that was really... Oh, and it gives me those runes back. Okay, now I got the rune of summer. Okay, cool. Huh. I, I clicked and it didn't work. Um, okay, so now it's the rune of summer and the rune of fire with those other ones. Okay. So, get you out of the way. Got you, got you, got you. Rune of summer, rune of fire. You, 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 you and you. Is that everything? Light gray, dark gray, red, red. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Am I missing something here? Mystical light gray, mystical gray, mystical red. Are, am I putting the wrong ones on? Because I know there's, like, you can kind of... No, mystical red. That is right. What am I missing here? Is it not putting out mana anymore? No, it's, it's got a mana source. It's 
so hold on. What am I missing here? What am I missing? Oh, wow. <laughs> it goes in the petal apothecary. What was I thinking? Wow, that was that was something kind of special right there, uh, which means I forgot to grab seeds. That was something seriously special right there. I was just like, what am I missing? Oh, you don't have it in the right place. Grab a couple seeds. All right, so this goes in the petal apothecary. All right, here we go. So one rune of fire, one rune of summer, gray, light gray, red, red and a seed gotcha endo flame or sorry exo flame so supposedly if i put you there and oh no i want bind mode there we go you bind to that yeah you're full up and then if i put stone in here cobblestone in here you should cook it right <gasps> that's amazing oh and it is faster oh that's awesome that is so awesome. Well, I know I can make that guy pretty easily now. So if it does, you know, go away and, you know, because of like, you know, degeneration or whatever, so be it. But that's awesome. That is freaking awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then I can make that up real quick and we can make some stone. All right, cool. So we've got that. The other one I want to make today is, well, I want to make the, the little... So I can do apothecary stuff. Um, and what is that thing called? It's apothecary. Um, it's a catalyst. Oh, alchemy. That's the word I'm looking for. That's the one I want. This is what I need the blaze rods for. I need four living wood, two gold ingots, a mana pearl, and two brewing stands. That's what I needed those. Uh, um, how much living stone do I have? I got eight on me. Cool. We're going to go get that done real quick so I can put that in there and then we can start changing some stuff up and getting cooler stuff. Yes, I'm going to need an ender pearl. Need one of you, please. And oh, I can grab you for mana generation. I know you, you for mana generation. Um, there's an ender pearl gold. Let me just grab all the items. Oh, yeah, this is alchemy not alchemy alchemy if I do this oh, there we go got my two blaze rods so we're good to go there and do this oh I had one in there ah ha ha cool I already had one in there and then this is gonna go under the mana pool and this is gonna be our alchemy mana pool come here you right there now I can do some fun stuff with this guy once I start getting mana in it and maybe 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 I don't I want more I want different mana generation than these I want like endo flames or something like that uh, exo yeah endo endo flames I want endo flames because I got a ton of coal that I can use for endo flames um, so let me grab this other spreader real quick. Just clicking on the wrong things here. All right, so you're gonna be right here. Like so. Not you, not like that. You're gonna be like this, and I'm gonna bind you to that. Okay, back to function mode, there we go. Yeah, you're not doing anything right now, but we're going to create exo flames. Exo flame. Oh no, endo flames. Why can't I, I get these names right? It's just scientific speak. Um, functional flora. No, that's not. This is mana flora, mana manipulation. No, it's generating flora. That's what I want. Um, endo flames. Endo flames should be pretty simple. Yeah, I just need to... I'm going to make like four of them. I just want to make a ton. Well, actually, I'm going to only make two because I've got two overgrowth and I'll know those keep going. So I need gray, red, and two brown. So I need two gray, two red, and four brown. <clears throat> and I definitely got to move this over there. 
Um, was it light gray? Yeah. Two light gray, two red. I'm going to grab the dark gray just in case. And one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to go grab some redstone so I can convert that to that mana powder. Like so. One, two, three, four. I think I should have some in there, but it's okay. I made quite a bit when I was making my uh, my dirt rod. I don't know what to call it, but I call it the dirt rod. All right, run over here. And do this. There we go. And then to the Petal Apothecary. Oh, I don't have a water set up over here. I need to set up a water thing. Time to go grab two buckets. All right. Water bucket. And we'll grab one of you. I don't need that cobblestone right now. Just there. And I need to fill you up. Thank you. And here we go. Back to the Petal Apothecary. I need to figure out how I want to organize this. This is like, I, I think the biggest part of when I'm working with mods and stuff like that. I never know exactly how I want to set stuff up. And eventually I get it all neat and organized, but I feel so cluttered in the very beginning. Like it just, it, it bothers me. Hey, how did you do that? Get in there. Okay. So I believe it was two brown, two red, not two red. Um, I need an empty hand. Okay, I just need one red, two red, and then I need, uh, I think it was a light gray, and a seed. Nope. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 it was that, but I need to put in you, too, and a seed. There we go, got the endo flame. All right. And again, two brown, light gray, red, mana, and a seed. All right, so we're gonna plant you right next to these guys, and like that, and like that, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my overgrowth seeds right here and here, so you guys don't go away, and then we go get some coal. You're connected, right? Yeah. Let's see how much mana these things really produce. It's gotta be more than the day blooms and nightshades no way around it it has to be um i was coming oh coal all right so let's do this i'm gonna grab a couple of these since i've got so much and then i'm gonna put them in like a chest or something eventually i might just put it in one of the wood chest for the time being but we're gonna go ahead and throw one on each of you you take that one you take that one, eat it up, and wow, that's that looked like a huge burst. I mean, not, wow, look how fast that fills. That's actually, to see a mark already, like a noticeable mark, is actually pretty crazy. That's, that's a lot of mana. That's actually pretty cool. Well, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. Um, I'm going to keep working on other ways to do mana generation. But uh, in the next one, we're going to produce some more flowers and do all that stuff. But I have a feeling like the next couple episodes are going to be dedicated to Batania because I do want to get into it and have some fun with it. So until next time, guys, I am Slatter Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.